643 Lakeshore Boulevard. There's a neighborhood. Again, you're right next to the water. There's the water right there. You can literally hear the waves come in. in. This is like one we haven't really seen before. Definitely your quintessential Tahoe cabin. You literally hear the water um, crashing in the background, which is great. So a little hallway here separating the main house. There's two entrances too. Sorry, there's the downstairs entrance and then up the steps to the deck. There's another big door up there. But let's start with the little Jack and Jill cabin here. So they have it set up with two bunk bed or two twins on either side. You know, you could easily fit a queen. King might be pushing it, but definitely you could fit a queen. Maybe bunk beds if you wanted the extra bed space. Cute vaulted ceilings. Um, this one's locked, so we'll just leave that locked. But the little Jack and Jill bathroom here. Stand up shower. You know, everything you need right here. A little fan. And then walking through, which you can also lock on either side of this one. And these ones are actually built in to the wall, but same thing, just same, same, but different. And they each have their own door and key. So you really could block it off if you didn't want, you know, if it was different, separate people using it. Hot water tank coming through. So that's really neat. Or you could have bedroom, living area, you know, however you want to set it up. And then coming out here is the backyard, which we'll get to from inside the house. But I just think this is super cute. And then we'll start downstairs. Coming in here. So you have the stairs up. And then down here, all this storage with, you know, like cute. It goes all the way back. Almost like a wine cellar, really. You could definitely make a wine cellar back here, maybe in there cool enough to your furnace. I mean, it's just wood, but they put these cute little rhino handles on it to dress it up. Downstairs bathroom. So basically this is the whole master floor down here. Double sinks, walk-in shower. Again, you can hear the lake from here. And then into this huge master bedroom. Tons of storage. I mean, you put a little bit into fixing up down here, have like mirrors there. They'd have so much natural light. Um, original windows, which I'm a huge fan of. I opened it up so that you could, you know, imagine sleeping here and hearing the waves crash. So that's really special. No highway noise here. Carpet. Um, here you have the stone floors. That's looks like um, tile right there. So going up, and again, you know, you could have that door locked, and this is strictly the main master or primary bedroom level. And then coming up here, some nice stained glass. This big picture window to the original 1936 cabin. The exposed beams, vaulted ceilings. Really cute. Huge wood stove, which would probably heat this whole house in the winter, I'm sure. And then these great windows. 
open everything up. And then in here, you have the kitchen, which has been updated, dining area. I am sensing a little bit of a slope in the floor, kind of right here. You can almost see it. So that's probably obviously the end of the original cabins right here. And then that's the newer side. And I'd wonder if you could maybe cut a hole in there for to let the light in and possibly see like views. But if that's the original cabin, it may not be allowed. So we'd have to investigate that. Cool little grill rotisserie oven in here. So it could probably be like a pizza oven. Looks like granite. Nice little view of the backyard. It's electric stove. Um, newer appliances. And then coming through here to the backyard, you have your washer dryer, hot water tank, which you could put an on demand tank and then move the washer over there for more room or get a stackable for the amount of laundry you're going to do on vacation. Give you more room. Maybe have a second fridge back here since that fridge is a little bit smaller. Um, and then just entry to the backyard is really cute all built up and I mean I love this fireplace you could imagine sitting by this for hours at night telling stories and laughing that's super neat to have it built in there and then it looks like they kind of were maybe going to extend the deck or possibly make a, a second cabin over here um, maybe that was their plan at some point. I'm also noticing another little like barbecue grill area. So you'd use charcoal for that. Those neighbors are back far. Um, it's fenced in. I'm not sure completely, but you could kind of close it off at the corner of that one behind the cabin and just have a door right there to get to the backyard. That would be a pretty easy fix um, for the pups. And then coming in here, this is just a little storage shed. It's insulated. I'm not seeing any electric, but you could add that in, especially if you move forward and make this into its own second cabin for like guests or something. That could be a good option for a little more space. I don't think that would be too hard. You see all the footing over here. Or if you take it out, then you have that much more grassy area for the dogs and to play in. Newer roofs. That all looks good. Siding looks good. I don't see any real signs of wear and tear. Little garden area over here. Wood pile. Let's see. So this side was fenced in, obviously missing a couple um, fence poles, so a quick fix there. And through here. I mean, and there's there's lots of room for like a big dining table over here too if you wanted to do something like that so you could eat outside. But you also have the front deck for that, so let's go check check that out. Okay. Back through the kitchen. Again, really nice wood cabinets. That fireplace there. Stove is pretty neat. Into the main. And then big picture windows. They do have blinds in case it gets hot. To this massive door. And then 
back out to the nice breezy lakeside. So here they have their dining table covered in case of a few showers. Huge deck. And then that's your main stair so that you could use that as the main entrance to the house. Come up that way. Neighbors are a little close, but they're probably second homeowners as well. And then there's your lake right there. You can see your pocket right there, and then that's where the buoy field is. And then more right there. And then exactly what we were talking about. On our way to the beach. It's a nice breeze. Good shade with the big trees here. No big trees over the house, which is always nice. I'm noticing a little bit of a slant here. But again, this is a older cabin, so you could just 100% live in it the way it is right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's adorable. And maybe over time decide what you wanna do, maybe building or adding an addition to it. You could probably go up a second level. These properties are both in a, a third level. Um, but I mean, you can't get much closer to the lake than that. You know, with zero highway noise. Cute little community to walk the dogs. And again, just a great huge deck. You could sit out here for hours. I'm sure many people have. And if you want the shade, you can kind of be back in here. hearing those waves crash. I mean, that's amazing. Okay, well, from here, I'm going to go down to the beach access and um, let you see how that looks. All right, you can park your golf cart right there. <laughs>